Welcome to Alpha Cars. My name is Dimitri and I'm here with Daryl. Hello everybody. We would like to welcome you to our Alpha Cars and Motorcycles YouTube channel. We love our job for a number of reasons and one of the many reasons is that we get to, well, we get to work with customers like you and we get to work with quite extraordinary type of vehicles. Not to mention we're surrounded by just number of amazing vehicles. We have the Nissan uh, GTR outside. We just pulled it out. We have a motorcycle Ish. We have a motorcycle Dnieper. We have a Himalayan. We have a BMW 635. We have a late model Mercedes behind. We have a classic uh, Mustang. Classic Mustang. I mean, how often are you going to see that? And look at that thing on, on top of us, I guess. Yeah. It's mint, impeccable Toyota MR2 from early 90s. And there are literally close to 100 cars in our inventory. Not to mention probably 50 or 60 bikes, probably more than that, 80 bikes. Yeah, I would say so. And yes, we are dog friendly. We just brought Wiley out here in the studio. Uh, and before we switch to a, a very special machine, we also need to mention that we do have an amazing team in our service uh, center. Correct, yeah, we've got a very talented bunch of people. Yes, and not only we sell these vehicles, but we fully support them. Not to mention we go through them. When we sell them, all our customers that need support, they get top level service. So today we're gonna to talk about... Yeah, it's almost a piece of history. Yep. Because this is, you know, this was styling from back in the 70s. Absolutely. And it started off as a 2003 Harley Davidson Sportster. Mm-hmm. 1200. See, see what it's evolved into. And just for full disclosure, just for full disclosure, for anyone that seriously considering purchasing this motorcycle, we are selling it as a display item. Think of it as a fancy engine stand with wheels and gas tank and, and some attributes of a motorcycle. And as a fancy engine stand, we do we happen to have a title for it. So yes, it has a VIN, it has a title, it's titled as a motor vehicle. And, and some states it can be operated legally on the street. It just, but we're not selling it as not, such. It's, right. it's certainly, just keep that in mind. And I know it's not the only vehicle out there like this. There mm -hmm. are far more extreme examples, but just, we, we're in Massachusetts, we, we, we're a uh, state licensed dealer, so we need to be full disclosure about it, about this. So, started off as 2003 Harley Davidson Sportster. And then uh, we, we were introduced to this machine I would say probably like three, two, three weeks ago, mm -hmm. we had an inquiry on uh, on a Ural motorcycle, actually a Heritage Edition, and the customer had two Harley Davidsons. Uh, this was one of them. But Daryl, you mentioned something about the history, and you've been in motorcycles for so long. So, tell us a little bit about the just the sports the sports the line. Well, the the. This bike is an example of the chopper craze that started back in the 70s. And it's a 1200cc Sportster engine, but that's about the only thing that's more or less stock on it. Um, everything's custom from one end to the other, custom hardtail frame, uh, eight over tubes, six spoke wheels. Um, just, a, just a classic example of, a, a, of what guys were building back in the 70s and what some, what some feel very sought after now. It's very nostalgic. Um, this particular one, the engine has been fully rebuilt uh, along with everything else. So it's basically as part, as much of a brand new machine as you know, you can get, um, but it is quite, you know, a custom build. I can tell the frame is dramatic and there's very little left from the original frame. I, I think the very bottom pieces, maybe, just where the uh, engine is situated and where the electronic ignition is in the front, that appears to be somewhat original, but then from there on, it's a custom, custom, it's a custom. custom built frame. Well, let's see what the, uh, what the owner of the bike um, kind of sent us with this bike. Uh, custom 2003 Harley Davidson Sportster 1200 
chopper, fully customized by Chop Machine Cycles. And I haven't heard of the shop, but I looked at this bike closely, and I'll tell you, everything from the welds, uh, the paint, the way that the custom features of the paint, just the way the hardware is done, and even the way the hardware looks, because I always look at the hardware like Ellen heads. You look inside, mm -hmm. and, and uh, there's no distortions. It's beautifully done. Whoever did it, they had proper tools. So then uh, there's a note about the engine, like you said. It's a fully rebuilt engine with new chrome SNS head bolts. Nice. And then, Daryl, I'll let you go through this because you would know more about these items. Mm -hmm. Six boat invader wheels. So those are the mag wheels, uh, Firestone tires, uh, shave lower legs, which means there are no, they're stock lower legs, but the mounts for the front brake calipers and stuff like that have been taken off. I see. So everything's been cleaned up, polished, um, polished triple trees. So you got up and lower triple trees that are shaved and polished. Beautiful. Uh, Paco pipes. So those are slightly upswept with an outturned end on them. Uh, performance machine chrome brake caliper. This is a big company that does basically the biggest thing they do is custom parts, uh, mostly brake parts. Yeah. Um, stainless steel rotor, um, special handlebars. Uh, v choppers. Yeah, handlebars. handlebars. Paco six inch risers on the uh, triple trees. Yeah. Uh, BNC leather seat with a P pad, which is passenger pad on the rear fender. Yep. Um, Bitwell throttle uh, they sell a lot of custom parts custom grips and things like that and new o-ring chain tried it cycle air cleaner then we have the custom paint was done by a company called time bomb customs and the whole frame and everything having to do with the frame is all powder coated very yeah, durable very durable and the, I, I haven't seen any chips anywhere on this bike and the chrome and the polish stuff just looks stunning. Mm -hmm. And even, I will just look at this, like the bottom of the brake master cylinder, the bottom of it, the bottom of the brake pedal, just the stuff on the bottom, it's impeccable. Mm -hmm. There's no pitting and it, it's a great show bike. And I know, I, I think we spent maybe, I don't know, three hours just doing- Not very much. Not very it just much. needed a little, bit of, a little bit of cleaning. Yeah. Uh, nothing about it was, I mean, it's, it really hasn't been ridden at all either. Absolutely. Yeah, well, it's not something that you go very far with. Yeah. But it's definitely uh, the gentleman that traded the bike, he, he said that it always got all the attention anywhere he rode the bike. They were much bigger bikes, beefier bikes, but this bike has a certain, I would say, elegance. Well, it's got such clean lines. You Absolutely. Know, it, there's no clutter in it. You just have what you need. Absolutely. And I love those upswept pipes. It, it looks so nice. And uh, uh, the little, uh, you know, the tank, it, even though it's little, but it's balanced with everything else. Mm -hmm. And I love how they did the uh, oil, oil tank under the seat. And then when you lift the seat, I think there are some controls there, aren't there? Yep, the uh, the controls and the, all the uh, the majority of the wiring for the bike all comes together in that little storage compartment in the oil tank. Yeah, and it's nicely done. And then if you look at the very rear of the bike, where the tire, um, if you look at the very rear of the bike, where the tire is right under the fender, if you look at the tip of the fender, it just so elegantly trimmed mm -hmm. and the right distance between the fender and and the tire itself and yeah. then it flows into the uh, chrome rim and then into the sprocket and then this massive chain just massive chain well all this stuff has to be hand done yep and you could tell the care it was taken when it was all put together yep by by features like that you just don't buy the fender and put the oil tank. All this stuff has to be hand fitted. So you can tell the quality and the care it took to put this bike together by looking at those things. And the big question is like value. Okay, if you go to reproduce this today, 2022, and you wake up one day and you say, 
I want to build this bike. I have a vision. Mm -hmm. This is what I want to do. Maybe it wouldn't be exactly that, but it would be similar components. I bet you it would cost you close to 30,000. I have to listen, because there again, this is a hand-built motorcycle done to the level that, that, it, that you know, that, it, that it's a show quality. So that takes time and time is money. Yeah. And there are some expensive components here on this bike and in beautiful condition. So maybe if some viewers were ever thinking of building a bike or something similar, this is a great thing to just buy and enjoy. Right. If it's still available. Yeah. And you could certainly buy this for less than you could have one built. For a lot less. And then you can even do some personalized tweaks because there's still room for mm -hmm. improvisation on this bike. It's certainly not overdone. There's room for cre creativity here. Anyway, uh, I think we covered quite a bit. Maybe we'll just get it started. I mean, we'll need your help for it. Okay. So let's, uh, what do we do? Oh, we have a, uh, turn the fuel on. We, we turn the fuel on. So the, the padcock pointed up vertically to start it, right? Should, uh, and I love how smooth it is. It just clicks. It's much better than the ones we see on just regular ones. Yeah. And look at all the hoses and the proper clamping, how that's done mm -hmm. nicely. Okay, so we get that up. I think somebody might have the fuel on. I think, it was, I think that's on. Oh, I fiddled with it. Yeah. I might have pointed it that direction. So basically to start it, mm -hmm. It's converted, so you got a choke here. You pull up, and it is a cold start. So I'm going to put my hand on it, and it's it's room temperature. Yeah. Get this. Uh, are we neutral? That's so what I want to roll up. You were rolling it around. I was, <laughs> but we just want to make sure we didn't accidentally put it in gear. So. Let's exposure for uh -huh. poor animals but uh, it is a great running bike as it was uh, warming up it just was picking up this beautiful idol so we hope you enjoyed uh, not only this video but you just like us enjoyed this machine it is an amazing amazing offering while it's still available and it's an amazing condition you're not buying something Again, if you consider buying it, you wouldn't be buying something that is kind of old and used. This is unused. This actually was created for a very, very good cause. And then it went to, uh, to an auction. I, we don't know right now what the exact auction was, but it was uh, some kind of a... It was some kind of door prize for... Charity for charity event it was a, it was definitely a charity event and then uh, again the owner eventually decided to trade it towards another motorcycle here at alpha cars and motorcycles so we hope this video was informative for you and if you have any questions definitely visit our website alphacars.com and we have all the detailed information about this bike you'll find a lot of details, close-up photos, and of course this video. And most importantly, you would uh, check and you would be able to see if this bike is still available. Don't forget to subscribe, share, and always let us know which videos you like the best by simply clicking the like button. 
Daryl, thank you for thank uh, you for your help here. Yes, yes. Hope you guys enjoyed the video.